Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to install any Android OS in a virtual box by the simplest way. First of all, I just create a new OS at here. Here is the new in virtual box. Here just go to the new. Here just give any name. I just give the Android. You can give any name. Here in type, just go to the Linux. Just select Linux. In version, I just select Linux. 32-bit, 2.6, 3.x, 4.x, 32-bit. If your image is 32-bit, then just go to the 32-bit. If 64-bit, then just go to the 64-bit. Okay. Now just go to the next. Okay. I give the 5GB. You can give any memory. I just give the 5GB. You can allocate any memory that you like. Okay. Now just go to the next. Just create hard disk. Just click on the create. I just go to the virtual disk image, just click on the next. Okay, I like dynamic alloc allocation, just go to the next. Okay, 8 GB is sufficient for our process. If you like to large memory or large hard disk, then just scroll down at the large. Okay, now just click on the create. Now our device is ready. Now the last step is add our operating system or image disk. Okay, that is very easy. Just go to the settings at here. Select your operating system and just go to the settings. And here, just go to the storage. Okay, here we find our disk image. Okay, or iOS image. Just select empty and just go to the here and just go to choose a disk file. Okay, if you have Android or operating system, Android image disk or iOS file, then very good. If you have not Android iOS image, then I give a Android iOS image link links. I give multiple links to you. You can use any link. I just go to the here and download it. Okay, I have already downloaded on the my PC. If you have any other Android uh, iOS image, then don't worry that will be work with this process. Okay, now just go to the here, choose a disk file. Now just go to the your disk image or iOS image. Just double click on it. Okay. Now just click on the okay. Now just go to the Android or the operating system, your operating system and just select your operating system and just go to the start button. Okay. Now we are going to fitting our device. Now by the arrow key, just go to the install Android 86 to hard disk and hit enter key on your keyboard. Now our booting process is started by the bottom arrow key. Just go to the create modify partition and click on the OK. Now, do you want a GPT? I select no. You can select also yes. Here, here just go to the new. Okay. First of all, just go to the new. Now just go to the primary. Just click on the primary. Click on the enter button. Now we want to bootable, just hit enter key on the bootable. Now here we find flags, bootable and part name primary. Okay. Now by the arrow key, just go to the return uh, right. Just go to the right. Okay. And just type Y E S and enter key on your keyboard. It's take few minutes or few seconds depending on the speed of your PC. So wait for us some time. Okay. Now by the arrow key, just go to the quiet and hit enter key on the quiet. Okay. Now here we find our hard disk at the top. Just click on the okay. Now here is the most IMP part file system to format. Okay. I just go to the ext4. Just go to the ext4. Hit enter key on your keyboard. Okay. Now click on the yes by arrow key just go to the yes and just format your partition with ext4 okay yes now formatting our disk now do you want to install bootloader yes just by the arrow key just go to the bootloader yes yes do you want to install system directory as read write okay yes now our installation process is started wait for a few minutes Now just go to the reboot or run Android x86. I just go to the run Android 86. Okay. Here we find one problem. Okay. Here is the our one problem. I just go to the here close 
and power of the machine i just click on the power of the machine i solve this problem very simple way i just go to the settings first okay and just go to the storage and remove this okay i just go to the here and right click on it and remove this ios image remove it click on the okay select our operating system and just go to the start now our operating system is booting now just press it here now our process is started but we found one error and we solve this error by the simplest way first of all here we type reboot and hit enter key on our keyboard then as soon as our bootable position or bootable process is started we just press e key just type reboot and hit enter key on our keyboard as soon as our bootable process is started just press e key on our keyboard now just one second press e key now here we just type n l n o m o n o m o d s t so space space is the important make sure space and after space just type n o m o t e s e t just type n o m o t e s e t then just type P. After this process is complete, just press P. Just type N O M O D S T. Hit enter key. Now just type P key on your keyboard. Now our process booting process is started. Okay, wait for a few seconds. Our Android device is starting. Now our Android device is starting. Wait for a few minutes. It take few minutes. So be a patient and wait for a, some time. Just click on the start. Skip. Skip. Continue. Just select your time. Just click on the next. more 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 accept it not now skip anyway now our android device is started so guys this is the simplest way to run any android device or android operating system on your windows operating system in virtual box so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys